Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. When I was 16 years old, I was forced to go on a, what I called at the time, a stupid religious weekend. Uh, it was a retreat weekend for young men. I was, I was not in a particularly receptive mode in my life in terms of faith at the time, but on that weekend, I had an experience of God that changed my life. And I remember the night I had this particularly intense experience. It was such a, an incredible sense of peace. I'd, I had such an incredible sense of God's love. Now, God's love had maybe had, uh, until then had been a bit of a concept, but I experienced something I didn't know was possible, and I still remember it. And the image that came to me that night was that I had lived my whole life in this, in this small contained area, and that night I had, I had punched through the wall. And I still remember this image, like that on the other side of the wall was this lake, water, with, with hardly a single ripple on the water. And that was the, and this, this water went as far as the eye could see, like as calm as anything. And the thing is that the wall that I punched through that night was paper thin. That, that was a, an image that came to me, and I still remember that because it was just this sense of, of, of the presence of God in such a powerful way and God's unconditional love. I think all of us can remember our teenage years and regardless of which era or decade your teenage years happened, teenage years are a, a great time of turmoil and, and struggle and even anxiety as we ask a lot of key questions about who we are and, and uh, what is life all about. And it's also a time when we make some key decisions like for my own life, I wouldn't be talking to you today as a priest if I hadn't gone on that stupid religious weekend. So these kind of weekends, these kinds of experiences of God are pivotal in the lives of young people. Well, as, what, as much as we struggled when we were teenagers, think of the struggle that young people have today. You know, when I was young, the only issue that was really pressing in on us was the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Now, young people are pressured with so many things. I mean, think of the ways that young people are told that they have to create themselves, not just your interests and your hobbies and your, 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 your skills or your, the, the organizations you commit to or the career paths you may choose. Now people are, are given an array of choices around issues of gender and sexuality. It's, it's mind boggling and the, and the pressures that are put on young people today when they're told that they can not can create themselves, but they ought to create themselves. They ought to reject every other narrative that comes out of, that comes from any other place other than themselves. It sounds liberating, but in fact it's enslaving. It creates incredible pressure. And so I think as much as any time, and even more so today, we need to create similar experiences to the ones that I had on that stupid religious weekend. We need lots of stupid religious weekends. <laughs> Well, I want to tell you about an amazing stupid religious weekend <laughs> and that is uh, the Steubenville Atlantic Conference that happens here in our own diocese. It's been happening for years. In fact, it was the first Steubenville Atlantic, first Steubenville Conference, youth conference to happen in Canada. Now, some of you may, Steubenville, like, isn't that like a steel town in, in Iowa or somewhere down in the States? Is it, I think it's Iowa. Ohio, that's what it is. Ohio, sorry, Ohioans. Um, yeah, there was a, even a famous singer. Wasn't, um, what's his name was from there? Martin, remember the Rat Pack? What was his name? Come on, someone give it to me. Dean Martin. Dean Martin, that's who it was. Dean Martin was from Steubenville. So, what is Steubenville? Well, see, the town of Steubenville has a Catholic university there, Franciscan University of Steubenville. And in the 1970s, there was a, a revival, a spiritual revival on that campus. And it became a place where young people flocked to, to, for education, to get their degrees, but also to be spiritually renewed. And it became a center of Catholic renewal. And they started uh, these uh, young adult conferences. And they eventually exported them all over the United States. So, People who are familiar with these conferences call them Steubenville conferences, but it's nothing to do with the town of Steubenville. It's just a conference, a model of conference that is organized from 
the Franciscan University of Steubenville. What happens on these conferences? Well, there's, there are uh, dynamic speakers, uh, youth speakers, who know how to speak the language of young people to connect the gospel with the struggles of young people. Uh, young people gather together from, in our context, from across Atlantic Canada. Last year, there were 300 young people. In past years, there's been as many as seven or 800. Uh, but 300 young people last year. I believe we had about 16 young people from our parish there last year, as well as adult chaperones. And the impact is enormous because young people, they hear these messages, they meet other young people who are struggling with their faith, who are open to faith. And finally, they experience something. They experience God's love. It goes from being a concept to something they experience in their hearts. They experience the living God. I mean, ultimately, that's what our faith is. That's what our relationship with God is all about. It's not just um, conceptual, it's experiential. And from that kind of experience of God's love, it, it might be messy, it might be explained in, you know, with, a, with a lack of theological nuance by young people, but it's significant for them. It imprints on them and can often be a determining factor in the direction of their lives. That's why I believe it's important for us as a parish to support this initiative. Now, the dates are below. As I'm doing this video, I can't remember what the dates are, but they're right here. The conference is being held at Dalhousie University. It's, it's sponsored by our archdiocese. Young people from across our diocese, from across Atlantic Canada, there's gonna be great speakers. The theme this year is refuge, and it's based on one of my favorite scripture passages, Matthew 11:28, 28, when Jesus says, come to me, all you who are labor, and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me that I am gentle and humble of heart because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come to me, all you who labor and are carrying heavy burdens. You know, our young people today, like no other time, are laboring. They are carrying heavy burdens. And we owe it to our young people to get them on this stupid religious weekend. Thanks, and God bless.